I'm blue, as you can see. Blue is my favorite color. Because I always like to be surrounded by water. And this water makes me different among all planets in the universe. You know, I'm the only blue planet in this solar system? Yes, I'm unique. As you are unique. And God made it. So let me tell you a story from the beginning. When God made me, I was so excited that day. But I was waiting my turn. Because God in the beginning, He created many things before He created me. You know what God created in the beginning? Yeah, He made first alive. So I was saying, oh, there's life. Wow, life in everywhere. And you know what else He created? The sky. So I was very, okay, now light, then sky, and then what else He created? <laughs> what does He create? Yeah, He separated the, the sky, the waters, and then appears me, my beautiful legs, all the earth. But I still have water. I like to drink water every day. So you can see my belly very deep. So what is God made in after He created? Do you know what is He He made for you? Do you? You know something? I'm here to serve you. God created me to serve you. God made me in order to give you a place. I'm your home. What am I? You. Yes, I'm your home. So remember that it, when you see shapes in this world and you see a circle, remember me. Okay? Because my shape is like a circle. Sometimes people say, oh, I'm a square. So I said, no, I'm not a square. But one day, you know, somebody was very great. And he said, no, the air is not a square. You know who this guy was? What is your school? <laughs> His name was Cristobal Columbus. What was his name? Columbus. Cristobal Columbus. Yes, he was a brave man. He prepared a big ship and he said, Okay, let's go to the end of the earth. No, and people say, He's crazy. No, he the earth is a square. So after he went to the end of the earth, he would have. <laughs> but he wasn't crazy. He was right. He thought about me because he was studying the Bible. Yeah. How can the earth be a square? No way. And you know, that's why I like my hairstyle. It's like a circle too. You see? So everything about circle is about me. So remember when you see circles shaped everywhere, Remember about your home, that is me, because I'm your home. Then, this famous person, Cristobal Columbus, he made me famous again. I was so happy that this. But let's go back to the beginning. What God created after he made the sun, and the moon, and the stars, and he separated waters and the land. What does he include here in me? Animals, right. First he created birds, right? So I love birds. They fly. They it's like they are dancing on me. What does he create? Animals, right. Creatures that are around there. There are many <laughs> laugh all the time because when they were over there I say oh hey stop guys but you know sometimes I'm sick yes you know why yeah people may be sick are you those people yes no right yes so you are the guys who throw on me fresh you are the guy who made pollution in this war? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? You too. <laughs> I can't. 
dare to you. <laughs> because of you, I'm sick. <coughs> and you know what happened when I'm sick? I have fever. Do you have fever? Sometimes you go to the hospital, right? I cannot go to the hospital. <laughs> There's no big hospital like me. Look at me. I'm so big and fat. So what I'm doing? I just stay at home. I mean, this is my home. The whole universe is my home. Where should I go? So I try to do something, but I can't. So when I see, you know what happened? I got fever, so all the ears, all me, become warm. Yes. And you know what happened when I become warm? You know this water start to go. And all the weather become. You know what happened? Look at me like that. <laughs> yeah, rain cam. And sometimes I just tremble. You know, when you have fever, do you tremble? No. You're shaking? Yeah, sometimes I'm shaking. Oh, I'm so sick. I'm so sick. And you know what happened when I shake it? Oh. What happened? Yes, you super guys. There's an air square everywhere. You don't know where. What it, I don't know. I can't predict it. I just, I'm sick and then I start to, to shake my body. What can we do? Who can help me? I'm sick. I, I try to be strong, you know. I do my best to be strong and healthy. But every day I see people that they throw things on me in my beautiful oceans. They make pollutions in my clear sky. And it's not only me who is suffering. You are also suffering. How can we resolve this problem, guys? Give me an idea. I, I have a question for you. I'm, I'm very, I'm, I have a question. I didn't go to school. Do you go to school? Do you go to church? Yeah, so I have a question for you. I see you are smart. Where this problem is taught? When people start to become evil like this and make me feel sick. I, oh yeah, I remember one day I was so sick about this thing of you call sin. And then I have a lot of fever, and then I want holding myself to shake, but I couldn't shake. I was just a baby in those days, I'm just a little baby. Yeah. So I remember I have water, so I cry and cry and cry, and all the water was, was around me just came into. And I remember there is an old man. Uh, what was his name? Ah, yeah, Noah, Noah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Noah and eight people, who are they? I think they were family, right? Yeah, this old man, Noah, he made up um, something like a ship. Yeah. And when the whole water came into and twisted everything, these guys are just going and then, oh, singing, hallelujah. And then everything started again. But I try to do the same thing again, but God said, Hey, 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 yes, listen to me. You won't do that again. And he would say to me, Remember, you have no the right to make the air flow again because he made a promise like this. What is that? A rainbow, yeah. So he said, oh, remember when you see the rainbow? But you shouldn't do that again. So I said, okay, I'm never going to pee again. <laughs> so, now I'm holding my suffering. I was a baby, I was a baby heir, so I get angry and do that, but I cannot do it again. I saw that you were destroyed. But 
I remember the God say something about one day he will create everything new. A new earth and a new heaven. I'm waiting for that day. You know, my clothes are getting old. I need a new shoes. New. I don't have a necktie. Well, this pants become dirty. It's not ready. It's not quiet anymore. So I'm waiting for that day that God gonna make me new. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. But I prefer to stay my blue color. Okay. Are you waiting for that day too? Yes? Where will be you when everything becomes new? Because I will be new again. So where will be you? You will be with me? You're gonna be changing with like I will be changing? Where were we you guys? Hello? Where were we you? When I become a new heirs and everything will be new again. Where will be you? Where will be you? In America. Where is America? It won't be America anymore. In heaven. Oh, I see. I heard that heaven is a beautiful place. It's a perfect place for everyone. Yes. I remember God said that one day you will be in heaven. And you will be new like I will be new too. And you will come back again here to me because I will prepare a new home for you. When everything becomes new, I will be a new heir. Repeat after me. New heir. New heir. And there you will come back again to live with me and with God and with Jesus forever. Hallelujah. How many believe that promise? Come on, how many believe that promise? Not many. I believe that promise. I believe that one day everything is going to be new again. I won't be sick anymore. You won't be sick anymore. But until that day, please help me. I'm crying and crying and crying every day for that day. Romans chapter 8 say that I'm, I'm waiting for that day. You know, you started the Bible. So please help me. Can you help me? No? Why? Why you can't? You are too young? But one day you want to grow. And you're going to be a doctor, an engineer, a teacher. What are you going to be in the future? Hmm? Remember, when you grow and you have the power or maybe the money or maybe the ability to teach people and to join people to clean me and preserve me good until the day God will come again, I will be very grateful. I will thank you. I'm waiting for that day that you grow and will help me to be new earth. Can you do that? Can we have a promise together? Yes? Sure? I won't forget promise. I never forget promise. I promise you as I have my hair round. Okay? So let's be ready for the second day. Second coming of Jesus. And everything will be new again. And you and me will be here living together and ever together with God. I pray for that. And I will hope you pray with me in Jesus' name.